Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dave from Common IDW here, and I finally got to live out my dreams. Finally, to go to New Donk City. I mean, New York City. They're very similar in structure, you know, like only only like Mario isn't running around, but he is. He's not running around, but he's in New York City, New Donk City. I got to go to Nintendo New York, guys. Oh my god. So, backstory time real quick. I've always wanted to go to Nintendo New York. Well, back even like to 8th grade, I've always wanted to go to Nintendo World. That's what it was called before, I guess, they rebranded it because of the Super Nintendo World theme park coming up. I don't know. But I've always wanted to go to the Nintendo store in New York City. And specifically, I wanted to go during a launch of like a big console or a game or something like that. Like, I actually wanted to be there during a really big, momentous occasion so I can remember it for like ever. And whenever I see videos of someone like waiting 30 days in line to get a Nintendo Switch, or I see them doing the live choreography from the Super Mario Odyssey commercial. I just want to be there. I just want to be in the moment. And I just want to experience what it's like to be not only at Nintendo New York, but like in New York City itself. I had to go to the source. And in December of last year, me and my friends finally went for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate launch. And honestly, like what a better reason to go for the launch of one of the best games on the Switch this year. Like in 2018. Last 2017 we had... Breath of the Wild and Odyssey, but like 2018, Smash Brothers Ultimate is the game. So we got our tickets, we got our money, we packed our bags and we went. And this is gonna be me talking about my weekend in New York City. So if you've never been to New York City yourself and you actually like to go, I think this would be a good video for you to listen to and like hear what my experience was like being from Chicago, another big city, going to New York, which is like a bigger city. So without further ado, let's start the story. So we arrived in New York City around Wednesday uh, around like 12, 1 o'clock, we stayed at an Airbnb in Astoria, which is not too far from LaGuardia Airport. Uh, our Airbnb was like literally like a 10 minute drive from the airport, so that was really convenient. It was a decent area, the Airbnb was nice. It was very uh, similar to um, like areas you'd see in Chicago, but the one thing that was throwing me and my friends off was we couldn't actually put our finger on it. Like something was so different about New York already, not even in the city but in these, like, this urban area that's out on the outskirts of the city. We couldn't put our finger on it, but then we realized the, the buildings are next to each other. Like, literally next to each There's no space. Like, this is my house. This is my neighbor's house. There's no space. You can walk out my door and look to my right, and then they're literally, their door is right there. So if you haven't heard, in New York City, they don't really have alleys, but in Chicago, we have hella alleys. And it felt a little claustrophobic, like I don't get claustrophobic, but I was like, I feel like I can't breathe walking down these sidewalks, guys. Like, why can't I, why can't I breathe? Oh, it's probably because of all the trash on the ground. So after being around the Airbnb for a little bit, we caught the train, well, the Metro, to um, Manhattan, which is where the Nintendo store was. That was our first stop we were gonna make. We needed to go to the Nintendo store. And really quick on the trains, they're a little cleaner than CTA trains, actually, which, is very weird because I thought they would be dirtier, but they're actually very comfortable to be on. Very cozy, actually. And also, they have like medieval technology over there in New York City um, because you don't have to tap your card like in Chicago. Like in Chicago, if you just have your Ventra card, which is your Metro card here, in your wallet, you can just tap it on the reader and then you can just get on the train. But in New York, you actually have to take the card out of your wallet and like swipe it to like get through the turnstile. You can't just walk up, tap it, and then just go through. So if you're in a rush in Chicago, you can just take your wallet out, bam, and just go. But in New York, it's like, you know, make sure you have it out first, then swipe, make sure it reads, then go through. So I was just like, that's that's kind of weird. Cause we stopped like really swiping cards in Chicago like years ago. So that's kind of interesting. Also the Metro card is more like a heavy, like thinner plastic instead of like a credit card type of deal. So that was really weird too. But moving on, we're gonna get to the Nintendo store now. It was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. So I've seen a lot of videos of the Nintendo store and I thought I would have been prepared for the feelings that would have came over me when I walked through the door and see that golden plaque on the ground, that golden coin, that golden thing on the ground that's Nintendo New York and I see Mario engraved on it. I'm just like, oh my God, I'm here. We made it guys, we made it. And it was so overwhelming. Like as a Nintendo fanboy, I've been wanting to go to this place for so many years and to finally get there, just you see all this Nintendo merch and it's in stock. Like that's that's probably the most mind blowing thing is going into the Nintendo store and seeing everything, all this Nintendo merch just fully stocked on the shelves. Like they had SNES classics, they had NES classics, they had 
freaking all Nintendo Switch games. They had pro controllers. They had all the accessories. They had all these clothes, all these Pokemon cards, Pokemon plushies, a whole bunch of Pokemon plushies. And it was just fully stocked, guys. Like, it was crazy. It was, it was amazing. Oh, man. I gotta go back. I saw the Mario flagpole. I took a picture with Donkey Kong. It was so great, man. Like, just seeing all that stuff. It was a Nintendo fanboy's dream. If you haven't been to the Nintendo New York store, you have to go. You have to go. I'm gonna get back to more Nintendo New York stuff later because we went multiple times throughout our trip. But um, we did a whole bunch of more stuff on day one. We also walked around Rockefeller Plaza. So we got to see the area where the, the guy's holding the globe and the ice rink. And I actually saw 30 Rock. I loved 30 Rock on TV. And I got to see the 30 Rockefeller Plaza building. Lots of really beautiful Christmas decorations up. So I got to see um, like this on the Schwartz building or whatever it's called. Um, it was like a big shopping building or something. I don't remember what it's called, but they had um, a really cool light display and that was just beautiful. They had like music playing and the lights were flickering to the music and it looked really mad. It was like something out of Disney World, bro. It was so cool. And then we went to the Fow Schwartz store, which is like a really, a really big toy store. Um, if you've ever seen videos where it's like you're in New York and you see people playing on this giant piano, they had that there. But what's funny is, the giant piano in the Fow, in the Fow Schwartz store, um, it was just being mashed on by kids. So it was kind of like just hearing just people mashing on keys. And I was just like, could you imagine like working somewhere where all you hear is just. Like I would probably go insane, bro. But then we also got to go to Times Square on day one. Can't go to New York without seeing Times Square. Um, especially at night when it's super lit up, just seeing so many ads in one place, you feel like you're in the internet because Times Square is just a big area of a whole bunch of LED lights and billboards and advertisements and things are just coming at your face all over the place. That didn't sound right. There's just ads blaring in your face. That's better. All over the place. And you can just see, and you kind of get lost in it. And it's like, there's not really any street lights in that area. It's all the billboards lighting up that area. And other than magical, I can't really think of another adjective to use. Bustling, maybe? Um, active? Lively? Whatever other adjectives go with that. To describe what it's like to stand in the middle of Times Square. And it's just... It's crazy, bro. And then also, me and my girlfriend, we saw a uh, Rilakuma Ria store. It was like a pop-up shop. We went in there. That was really cute. And of course, I had to get my commemorative Disney store pin um, because Chicago has some. Every major store, I think, has a Disney store pin. I had to get mine. You see my Disney board back there. I had to grab some Disney pins when I was in New York. And that's pretty much the end of the first day. Our first day in New York. That's what we did. We did a whole bunch that first day. And then we come to Thursday, Smash Launch Day. But of course, we had to occupy our time until the evening where we could actually get in line for the game. So me, my girlfriend, and my friend, we were determined to get some food. So we went to this place. Uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I'm probably just going to show it in the video. But we went to this place in uh, China and Koreatown or Chinatown where they had delicious, delicious sushi hand rolls. It was like they were an authentic hand roll sushi place where they just have simple ingredients, fresh ingredients, and they just roll it up right in front of you and then you just get a roll and you just dip it in the soy sauce and wasabi and just eat it. And it was super fresh, super delicious. You should check it out if you go to New York. I highly recommend it. It was really good. Probably some of the best freshest sushi I've ever had. And we also walked around a park in New York. Again, don't remember the name, but I'll, you'll see the video right here where they just had like a lot of holiday markets in New York during this time of year. Um, they have something like that similar in Chicago, but there were just, there's so many parks in New York, they're just all over the place. So they had like different stalls selling clothes, selling books, selling a whole bunch of memorabilia. And they just had a lot of really cool stuff that I would have bought um, that day, but I still wanted to save money for Smash later in the day, so I didn't get anything. But they had a lot of really cool stalls. I got a lot of nice, business cards from people so for sure really nice businesses out there and then before we took off to go to the smash line i had to make a stop for my mom at the macy's in new york and if you don't know the macy's in new york is like the biggest one in the united states and my mom loves macy's so we had to go to macy's to get her some souvenirs and i got her like a magnet 
and a tote bag and some stuff like that. But we actually got to go into the biggest Macy's, which honestly is the Macy's for the Thanksgiving Day Parade, um, which honestly I should go to New York for the Thanksgiving Day Parade too, but that's a different story. It was really beautiful. It was, it's huge too. Like the floors are ginormous. We only got through half the place. I think it's like eight stories big. We only got through like four of the floors. Like we couldn't check out the whole place because we didn't want to take up the whole day in there because you could totally spend the whole day in the New York City Macy's. And then by the time we were done there, it was time to head back to the Airbnb to get some rest, to chill for a bit, like rest our feet, put some shopping that we got done back in the room. Then we headed back out that evening to wait in line for Smash Ultimate. This is gonna take a while. So of course, Smash Ultimate was also launching the same night as the Game Awards going on. So we were just had a speaker and we just had my phone and we were just listening to the Game Awards and watching the Game Awards in line with some people while we were waiting for Smash to launch. And then we finally got our games. I got the uh, collector's edition of Smash Ultimate. So I got the Smash Pro Controller along with the Smash Ultimate Steelbook. Really clean stuff there. Got the Battlefield illustration in there. Really awesome. So I got both of these things and my game. So I was content for launch day. Pop that bad boy into my Switch and we played Smash like all night. So now let's flash ahead to Friday afternoon because we slept in so late because we were up playing Smash all Thursday night. Um, so that was really fun. But we woke up super hungry because we'd just been up playing all night like I said. And we decided to go to this, this really good ramen place that was featured on Worth It, and that's the reason I wanted to go. Obviously, you know if it's on Worth It, it's gonna be worth it, and it was. And also my friend Rasan, the RD and the RDW of our channel, he showed up, we all got ramen, some of us got shoju cocktails, but the ramen though, when I, when I tell you, just look at how good this ramen looks, bro. This, don't bite your screen, cause this stuff looks delicious, and it was. I had the beef ramen, it was some of the best beef stew, it was like pot roast, the thick cut beef in my ramen right now, bro. It was so delicious. Let me tell you, oh my God, I want more. And then my friends, they got chicken ramen and they also got pork ramen. And oh my God, it's like anime style food, bro. It looks so fresh. It was so, it was like the best ramen I ever had in my life. I'm not lying to you right now. Clean the bowl, inhale that broth, and the that those noodles so good so that's what we had for lunch that day and then we decided to go to the brooklyn bridge because another tourist attraction why not go the brooklyn bridge you have to walk across it experience it live it inhale the air take the pictures you gotta do it all and what's funny about the brooklyn bridge is like i thought it was just a straight up just bridge people could just drive their cars across no people actually like walk across that whole thing and like it's a long bridge it's like a mile long to get across that freaking maybe a mile and a half it takes a minute to walk across that bridge and some people are just walking across it on their normal commutes some people are riding their bikes across it but just thinking about how people are just like well i gotta get to work i live on the other side of this bridge gotta walk across this bridge in the cold like that's crazy but it was nighttime we went across so we didn't get like a super good view of like the Statue of Liberty or anything else on like the river or the the ocean I think but it was it was still really beautiful just to get like a view of the skyline of New York on the bridge and after walking across the Brooklyn Bridge for about an hour um, we had to go back to the Nintendo store and this is when I finally got to play on the big screen the big screen that you see in like Nintendo Direct reaction videos or when they just have the screen on for people to play games they switched all the demo stations to Smash and they just had people doing smash matches on the big screen. And I got some pretty good matches on that, honestly. It was super fun. Um, man, it was it was such a good experience. It was like, when, you, when you're playing the game on the big screen, you get to show off a little bit, because you know people are obviously watching, especially because Smash Ultimate just came out, and everyone wants to see what everyone's capable of. So I got a couple matches in. I was like Daisy and Pokemon Trainer, and it was really fun, it was really fun. And again, when I say that the Nintendo Store has everything stocked 
more so than any other store that you would ever go to, they did. They still had pro controllers, they still had collector's editions, they still had smash bundles, they had all that stuff still in stock the day after, like the day on launch. Like even after the main launch, they still had all this stuff in stock. And they're just like, are you guys gonna run out? And they're just like, no, you're good. If you're here, you know you're gonna get something. So that was really reassuring and I, that was it was so good. And then the last thing me and my friend had to do, we had to get that token slice of New York City pizza, New York style thin crust. Um, it was pizza. <laughs> it was it was pizza. Like it didn't taste like anything I've never had before. I've had pizza like that similar to in Chicago. So like it didn't really surprise me. Although the place we went to was Joe's, and it, apparently it was in Spider-Man 2. Customer forever to pizza here. Look, you are my only hope. All right, you have to make it in time. Peter, you're a nice guy, but you're just not dependable. Pizza time. And that was our Friday. We still have a whole other day. Um, I'll try to make this quick because I, I know you guys are probably trying to get out of here in that audience retention, boy. So Saturday comes and we have a couple more things we want to do before we leave. We haven't gone to Central Park yet and we're still hungry as hell because we were playing Smash again late at night. What else are you going to do when you just got the best game of the year on your Switch? But we really needed food. So we went to this place called... The chicken cone it's like a place where they have delicious chicken and it's in a waffle cone so it's like to go food but we weren't trying to to go and eat it we were trying to just sit down and eat it but it was delicious bro it was some what chicken and waffles but the chickens in a waffle cone so you get a chicken and a waffle and it's so good it was delicious I need to go back we gotta go back so because I didn't have breakfast that day I for sure had to get the uh, what was it like the maple version of the chicken and waffles and it was so savory so sweet so delicious so crunchy oh oh it's as good as it looks and after we left there we were literally like right next to central park and at central park there was another one of those holiday markets i was telling you guys about so we went back into there looked around i got some uh, some mold wine some spiced wine delicious if you're 21 plus highly recommend it tasted good it was like apple cider but it had like a hint of wine taste to it it was, it was good for like it being cold outside. It was a nice, warm and toasty drink. It was delicious. But we walked around uh, Central Park for a little bit. My friend Rasan, he actually wanted to check out the Balto statue because me being an ignorant 90s baby, I never watched the Balto movie, which is an animated film about a wolf, I think delivering medicine to um, mountain climbers or something. I never watched the movie at me in the comments. I don't care. But apparently that was based off a true story and I didn't know it was and there's a commemorative statue of Balto in Central Park. So my friend Rasan really needed to see that because it's like, that was one of his favorite childhood movies and he really needed to see that statue. So he went and checked that out. So that was really cool. That made me think that if I go back to New York, I want to go back in the summer or when it's like warmer because I'd love to just explore all of Central Park. Maybe get like, I'd like to have a boosted board by then or something where I could just like skate through the park during the day and just take in the sights and like just explore the whole place. Cause it kind of, it was big. It was almost like I was walking through a zoo. Like, there was a lot of like mountainous like hills and stuff in there. Like the terrain was changing. There were a lot of horse and carriages walking around. So it was really cool. I'd like to go back sometime when it's warmer for sure. And then to end off our night, we went to this place called Doe, which is basically just a ice cream place, but it's all cookie dough, edible cookie dough. I don't mess with cookie dough okay i'm not a huge cookie dough guy i'd rather eat the cookie when it's done but this cookie dough this dough was so good it was literally just eating ice cream but i could eat a whole pint of ice cream by myself i could eat a whole gallon of ice cream by myself but this <laughs> i underestimate the thickness of dough because it was so it was so condensed it was really sweet it was really good i had like a i think i had like funfetti or confetti celebration uh cookie dough or something it was really delicious. I couldn't finish that little thing of cookie dough. It was so, and you can get up to like three scoops in one thing. Who would do that? Who can finish all that cookie dough in once? Not me, apparently, but it was great. That's what we had for dinner. We had cookie dough for dinner, because when you're a grown person, you can have whatever you want for dinner, as in cookie dough for dinner. So after we got that, we head back to our Airbnb, played more Smash for the night, and then we woke up early as crap on Sunday and caught our plane back to Chicago, and now, here we are. And that is my trip to New York City 
Wow, I, I kind of expected it to go this long actually. But I really needed to get this trip off my chest because I really have been wanting to talk about this for a minute now and my friends said I wouldn't upload this video for like a month after I did it and they were right though, they were right about that. But yeah, comment down below, get it? Comment, comment down below if you've ever been to New York City yourself, how is your trip different from mine? Let's talk about it. Also like this video if you enjoyed it, if you liked my trip. Um, man, I need to go back there. So thank you so much for listening to my ramble, my talk, my story. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you on the next video. Later.